How to take care of a Pomeranian. Pomeranian's palms are cute little dogs with big personalities. They are extroverted yet docile and affectionate, love to play and even make good watchdogs. In general, palms are healthy and robust dogs. However, your palm will need lots of care from you so he can live a long and healthy life. Training your Pomeranian. Be firm and consistent. Although palms are eager to learn new things and aim to please, they are also very independent. You will need to be gentle, yet firm and consistent when training your palm so he knows you are in charge. Poorly trained palms can end up developing what's called the small dog syndrome. The dog believes he is the leader of the pack. This syndrome can lead to serious behavioral problems, greater than without proper training. Your little palm could end up running the household and turning into a tiny terror. Poorly trained palms can end up developing what's called the small dog syndrome. The dog believes he is the leader of the pack. This syndrome can lead to serious behavioral problems. Without proper training, your little palm could end up running the household and turning into a tiny terror. Enroll your puppy palm in a puppy kindergarten class. If your palm is a puppy, you should start training him as soon as you can. Enrolling him in a puppy kindergarten will teach him basic socialization skills that will help him mature into a well-rounded dog. Underscore ref 7. Class equals. Reference. Aria label equals. Link to reference 7. Greater than in addition to puppy kindergarten class. Socialize your puppy palm by exposing him to different people, sights and sounds. This will get him comfortable with his new environment and teach him how to act properly in different situations. As your palm grows older, enroll him in an obedience training class to teach him to follow basic commands, such as sit and stay. Potty train your palm. If you have a puppy, it will be critical to house train him. Potty training can take up to several months, so be patient with your puppy as he learns the proper place to relieve himself. It is best to train your puppy to go outside, and to let him choose his own spot to go. To get your puppy on a consistent routine of going outside to relieve himself, take him outside after certain activities, such as 20 minutes after eating and 20 minutes before bedtime. Although it may be tempting to do indoor house training on pee pads or newspaper, it can be challenging, since your palm may not like being forced to use a pee pad in a spot he didn't choose himself. If you and your family members are gone for long periods of time more than 8 hours, it may be more practical for you to leave an indoor area for your palm that contains a pee pad and a few other creature comforts bed, food and water bowls, toys. Remember, though, that your palm may relieve himself in a place other than the pee pad. A good rule of thumb to remember is that a puppy can hold off from going to the bathroom for 1 hour per pound of body weight. For example, if your puppy is 2 pounds, he can hold it for about 2 hours. To get your puppy on a consistent routine of going outside to relieve himself, take him outside after certain activities, such as 20 minutes after eating and 20 minutes before bedtime. Although it may be tempting to do indoor house training on pee pads or newspaper, it can be challenging, since your palm may not like being forced to use a pee pad in a spot he didn't choose himself. If you and your family members are gone for long periods of time more than 8 hours, it may be more practical for you to leave an indoor area for your palm that contains a pee pad and a few other creature comforts bed, food and water bowls, toys. Remember, though, that your palm may relieve himself in a place other than the pee pad. A good rule of thumb to remember is that a puppy can hold off from going to the bathroom for one hour per pound of body weight. For example, if your puppy is two pounds, he can hold it for about two hours. Crate train your palm. Crate training is a great method to train your puppy palm. The crate not only keeps him safe from potential dangers, but can also keep him out of trouble when you're not home. In addition, since palms can be very difficult to house train, crate training is a good alternative. Crate training may take some time, especially since palm puppies can be willful and stubborn. Visit your local pet store to select a crate size and design that will be comfortable for your palm. When done properly, crate training will allow your palm to see the crate as a place of safety, not punishment. Crate training involves introducing your palm to the crate, feeding him inside of it, and gradually leaving him in the crate for longer periods of time including at night. Rewarding your palm with verbal praise and extra treats will encourage him to see the crate as something positive. Crate training may take some time, especially since palm puppies can be willful and stubborn. Visit your local pet store to select a crate size and design that will be comfortable for your palm. When done properly, crate training will allow your palm to see the crate as a place of safety, not punishment. Crate training involves introducing your palm to the crate, feeding him inside of it, and gradually leaving him in the crate for longer periods of time including at night. Rewarding your palm with verbal praise and extra treats will encourage him to see the crate as something positive. Train your palm to sleep at night. 
When you first bring your palm home, you may notice that his sleep schedule does not align with yours. It can take some time for a dog to adjust to the sleep pattern of his owner, so be patient with your palm as you train him to sleep at night. Create a comfortable area for your palm puppy to sleep. Make this area easily accessible to your palm so he can rest there at any time of day. He may feel isolated and stay awake at night if he associates the rest area only with the dark. In the evenings, dim the lights and turn down the noise on the TV so your palm knows that it's time to go sleep. Do not rush to your palm if he whines and barks during the night. If you do this, he will associate his noise with getting attention from you, which will certainly affect your sleep quality. Let him soothe himself back to sleep. Puppy palms typically sleep 18 to 20 hours a day. Adult palms usually sleep 12 to 14 hours a day, including a few naps during the day. Create a comfortable area for your palm puppy to sleep. Make this area easily accessible to your palm so he can rest there at any time of day. He may feel isolated and stay awake at night if he associates the rest area only with the dark. In the evenings, dim the lights and turn down the noise on the TV so your palm knows that it's time to go sleep. Do not rush to your palm if he whines and barks during the night. If you do this, he will associate his noise with getting attention from you, which will certainly affect your sleep quality. Let him soothe himself back to sleep. Puppy palms typically sleep 18 to 20 hours a day. Adult palms usually sleep 12 to 14 hours a day, including a few naps during the day. Control your palms barking. Palms bark a lot and have a surprisingly loud bark, making them great watchdogs. However, palms do not always know when to stop barking, which can turn the barking into more of a nuisance than anything else. It is important for you to train your palm not to bark. Training your palm dog not to bark begins with teaching him how to bark on command. When you have your palm's attention, give a short verbal command, speak, bark, and let him bark a few times. Hold a treat in front of his nose and let him have the treat when he stops barking. When your palm responds to the command to bark, give him a command to stop barking quiet. After a few repetitions and rewards for not barking, your palm will learn when to bark and when not to bark. Training your palm dog not to bark begins with teaching him how to bark on command. When you have your palm's attention, give a short verbal command, speak, bark, and let him bark a few times. Hold a treat in front of his nose and let him have the treat when he stops barking. When your palm responds to the command to bark, give him a command to stop barking quiet. After a few repetitions and rewards for not barking, your palm will learn when to bark and when not to bark. Leash train your palm. Palms have a lot of energy and love to go out on long walks. Daily walks are an important way to give your palm the exercise he needs. To make the walking experience more enjoyable for the both of you, train him to walk properly on a leash. Your palm puppy will need some time getting used to the leash before you put it on him. Let him sniff and explore the leash. It can be helpful to carry treats with you during the first few times you are leash training your palm. Reward him with a treat when he doesn't pull on the leash. Your puppy palm may want to pull on the leash. Rather than yanking on the leash, stand still or start walking in the other direction. If he decides to lie down during the walk, call him to you and give him a treat when he comes.